Hey yeah, everybody, happy Monday. So, I've been trying to keep up with uh, the PSA backlog, because if you guys remember last year, even end of the year, beginning of the year, people said, oh, no way, PSA will catch up this year. A lot of the uh, bigger influencers were saying this and everything out there, but realistically, based on the numbers and what I've seen for progression, I told everybody my guess would be, you know, around the national, they would be very close to being caught up. So uh, if you guys go onto the blowout forums at all, there's like a PSA order tracker. I always try to take a look to see if I have anything that might be close to other people's dates getting ready to pop, even though that's not a great tool to use for that stuff. So let me pull up my other screen here. That is Twitter. All right. So I, I've seen this somewhere else on, I want to say... It was either Friday or Thursday, but I couldn't find it again, right? And this was actually posted the 12th, which would have been Friday. Oh, it's on their Facebook page. My bad. I, I See, I didn't look there. But it says, after July, we're now well over 6 million cars graded and shipped so far in 2022, which is really good numbers. Our existing 2021 backlog is now under 1 million cards. Realistically... I would say by the end of September they're caught up. And that's giving them, you know, a grace period on there because there might be some oddball stuff out there that has to dip into September. Really, really good news for uh, anybody that's going to start sending stuff in. And, you know, your part, one of, what are you doing for registry, flipping, whatever it may be, that's really good news because. There's a lot of experts out there that were saying it wouldn't be done to the summer of 2023, which really didn't make a whole lot of sense with how much they were adding, you know, to their totals per month as you watched them go up. I know there's a lot of talk that there's the new New Jersey facility is supposed to be opening uh, next year, where I'm not too sure how that's going to be that if you live in certain states, you got to use this facility, whatever it may be. Um, but that's going to actually increase in numbers, too. Eventually, PSA is going to, you know, because we just did the new, I'm going to call it value than the specials that went out, the $18 ones. I do know they said they got a mountain, exact words, of cards. Uh, at the national, so I'm sure that's going to take them a few months to go through. Because when I'm thinking mountain, and I know what kind of vehicles they bring to these shows to set up and stuff, it, it's a it has to be a big vehicle full. But I'm guessing by the end of the year they're going to start catching up on that, and we'll start seeing more quarterly specials and stuff because they're going to have to justify the means for all these new graders that they got to keep their jobs. So. Just be on a lookout. I'd say probably, oh, I'm going to say by October, we'll probably we'll see another uh, quarterly special or something out there where they're going to start wanting to float some numbers up and stuff. So not too bad. But this is what I wanted to show you guys on their Facebook page. That's where I saw it. Because I went to the Twitter, and there's nothing on here on to this. You can see right up here, there's nothing about it at all. But when you come down, look at Jimmy G was trending. Ha, ah, that was crazy. Did you guys see that? I don't know if you guys caught that. Jimmy G was trending. Um, there's their totals for July, close to a million. Total cards shipped year through date. And then when you click on this thread, I just want to hit some of these points onto this. And I was going to do this onto another video. I already took the pictures off these screens. But look at the categories. Basketball, Pokemon, number two. It dropped. It was number one last time. But there's still a huge Pokemon backlog, from my understanding. I'm wondering how many of the million is Pokemon. Um, and that's another key issue. I think it'll go through September so they really hit it because they got to grade a lot of Pokemon out of it. Baseball, then football, then non-sports. Nowhere do we see hockey, F1, uh, or soccer even on here. Just non sport some of the top players, though, by uh, baseball, Griffey, number one, then Trout, Tatis. Notice two or three, missing a lot of playing time here the last couple years, either by injury 
for it. Now the new suspension for Tatis on uh, Peds. Uh, Lubob, we've seen that just because of the increase of the Tops and Tops Chromes. It wasn't even in the top five last month. Oh, well, I should say for June, but they would have published it in July. Jeter, dropping down. Jordan, still on top. Kobe, LeBron, Shaq, and Morant now picking up. Boxing, wrestling, MA. I mean, if you guys are into that, Hogan, number one. Flair just cracked it. Now he's number two. Um, trying to see Andre Giant. Interesting conversation that we had about Andre Giant because when I was a kid, I went to some of these little wrestling matches. I still have an Andre Giant autograph. I need to get certified. I know he signed it because it was mine, and I did it. I was with him when he did it. But uh, there's not many Andre the Giant autographs out there, and the prices on those, whew, they're going up, going up big time. Uh, football, Brady, Herbert, Burrow, Mahomes, Tua, number five. Wow. I was thinking maybe this month we would start rolling into some of the other players out there, like, uh, oh, I just lost the names of all the people now because I'm, I'm like five steps above thinking here going on to the future. Jamar Chase was one, but there was a couple other. I'm surprised Tua was so far up there. But, again, this could be part of uh, some of these economies and stuff going out. Hockey, Kirill, number five. A lot of people grading them young guns. I've heard a lot of them are, you know, sending in seven, eight, nine, ten of them, and they're getting like 20 30% gem rates back. Kind of crazy because young guns usually do very well by upper deck. Lemieux, Yager, Connor McDavid, Gretzky. There is one more thing. Soccer, Ronaldo, Messi, Mbappe, Makoko, Holland. If you like Pokemon, there's your top five in Pokemon characters. I ain't going to touch Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering because I'm lost on those. I even did MetaZoo has its own category now. But when I was looking at the non-sports, Wolverine, the number one most graded, then Spider-Man, Captain America, Venom, and Iron Man. And this is just their stat of the month, quarterbacks. Of course, everybody knows you want quarterbacks. You want to buy and grade quarterbacks. It's just always been a thing that really wasn't pushed. Now, I know a lot of people didn't know this if they came in during the COVID bump and they were just chasing everybody, but quarterback's always been big. But that's really about it for this. Like I said, the mo major purpose of this video is the backlog was under 1 million cards. Really, really good to know. Um... I, I give them like another two months on to, and I think they'll announce their backlog is completely done probably in October, saying they finished up the last of the uh, backlog back in September. So good news, good news onto that stuff there. All right, everybody. Uh, maybe we'll get an update eventually from Beckett or something like that out there until we talk about their backlog. I'm not too sure. But other than that, guys, see you all next video.